This is Star Wars Mission Series Mandalore featuring Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Maul. The two-pack set is part of the second wave of the Star Wars Mission Series for 2013. Essentially, these figure packs were supposed to be uh, merchandise for the Episode 2 and Episode 3 3D version re-releases re um, by Lucasfilm. But uh, sadly, when Disney bought Star Wars, the uh, re-release of Episodes 2 and 3 were cancelled. But Hasbro were, were, had already done the merchandise. Um, let me see how I can do this. Let me just stand them up. So here's the uh, packaging. It's done in the uh, movie movie verse or movie stylized artwork as well as the characters are also done in movie stylized uh, interpretations and incarnations. Uh, you're probably wondering what Darth Maul is doing with uh, if you watched all three of the prequel movies were Dar not all three. If you watched The Phantom Menace, you're wondering how Darth why Darth Maul looks like this, why Obi Wan looks like this. Well, they are movie figures. They they've been designed to look like movie figures, but essentially, these are Clone Wars uh, characters. If you watched the fifth and last season of uh, the Clone Wars. There was a time when um, Darth Maul had these spider legs. He was rescued by his brother. He was given these uh, sort of grievous, General Grievous-like legs. And then uh, both of them were defeated. Um, and they were left for dead in space. But um, some Mandalorians found them. Uh, who, who, you know, took them in and took care of them. Uh, in this particular instance, uh, they gave humanoid like cybernetic legs to Darth Maul and I think they also helped uh, Savage with his arm or something like that uh, but this is what Darth Maul looked like after he was taken in by the Mandalorians and Obi-Wan came in to fight him again um, this time I think Obi-Wan could not defeat Darth Maul and the only one who was able to really defeat Darth Maul was um, Darth Sidious, uh, Palpatine. He came over, he discovered that Darth Maul was not dead, that his old apprentice was still alive, trying to become a Sith Lord. Came to Mandalore, defeated um, Darth Maul. Darth Maul begged him not to kill him. but And, and you know, Palpatine just said, I'm not going to kill you, I'm going to do something worse to you. And it was left to the audience's imagination what happened. So anyway, that that's that. And I was actually looking forward to getting an actual um, three and three quarters figure of that incarnation of Darth Maul as he was taken in by the Mandalorians. Uh, and this is probably as closest thing we're going to get to that. Um, so, so that, that's why they look like this. So each figure comes with a lightsaber. This is just half of his lightsaber. This was all that he salvaged. Uh, if you watch the Clone Wars, Obi-Wan with his signature blue lightsaber, the sculpts, each, each one, each figure is sculpted very nicely i mean it's the sort of realistic rendition of the clone wars figures so it's not too bad it's actually pretty cool let me see if i can show you darth maul yeah it's pretty cool head sculpt's pretty good even the the way it looked so it looks so realistic not the animated cartoonish style of the clone wars um so yeah i'll, I'll take it as long as i can get a uh cybernetic uh, Darth Maul on my shelf. I'll probably get it. Now, each figure also comes with F Hasbro's fantastic five-point articulation. Uh, hinge shoulders and hips and a uh, not even a ball joint neck. It's a, it's, a, it's a swivel neck. No waist articulation, no nothing. Um, apparently, Hasbro thought that you just needed five articulation, five points of articulation to play with these very dynamic characters and really simulate that uh, battle they had at the Clone Wars. So, apparently, Hasbro has a knack for insulting kids' intelligence as well as collectors' intelligence. So, yeah, whatever, Hasbro. So, there you go, folks. Um, essentially, if you're just a casual... Star Wars collector, this is not for you. This is really, 
I don't even think that kids are going to appreciate this. Uh, maybe they would. Um, for those who love, who have a bit of nostalgia with them and who love the old Kenner style articulation, fine, you might get it. But this is really, I think, in my opinion, just for the Clone Wars fans, if they just need a uh, a cybernetic, a humanoid-looking cybernetic Darth Maul for their shelf, then, yeah, I guess that's you. Otherwise, this is a pass. Um, it costs just about the price of a deluxe class Transformers figure. So I don't know if you're getting your money's worth or not. So there you go, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this video review. If you did, please click the thumbs up icon at the bottom. Follow me on Twitter for my toy purchases. Instagram for my toy sightings here in Milan. Keek from me. Keek.com for my me toy hauls. Um, for all my latest toy reviews, you've got to be subscribed. To see them, you've got to check them out here on my channel, Cheftron, my old FX Trans channel. It's still up, but it'll only have vlogs. Uh, all the reviews are going to be here on Cheftron. So there you go. The Star Wars Mission Series Mandalore. Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Maul 2-pack. Thanks for watching.